having that inner self-confidence, whether you have the outer or not, that that's authentic self-confidence. That's, that's strong, that's potent, that's powerful stuff. That's what you can build a career on or a relationship on or any type of experience or achievement you want to achieve. It's built on that inner self-confidence. I think having both is best, but focus on that inner because that's the powerful stuff. How can you do that? Any thoughts on building your inner self-confidence? What kind of things would you do? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Volunteer. So do something of service. Make yourself feel good. Yeah. Yes. Don't beat yourself down all the time. Who does that a little too much to themselves? You're a little too hard on yourself a little too often. Me too. So common. And one of the one of the biggest lessons I learned around this was just the idea of listening to my gut. And I learned this actually climbing, climbing Mount Rainier a couple years ago for the first time. Uh, the first time I wanted to climb Mount Rainier, I was so excited to climb it and I was looking for an opportunity to climb it. And I didn't want to pay a company to guide me up there. It was too expensive. It just, I couldn't afford it. And I wanted to go with friends and I was looking for people to go with. Uh, and on a Wednesday, a few summers ago, some friends reached out to me and said, Brent, going to Rainier this weekend. Let's, uh, let's do it. And I said, okay. But on Thursday, Friday, I was flying to Kelowna for some events. And Friday night, I came back. And I go to pack my stuff. I hadn't grocery shopped at all, I hadn't prepared. We're leaving at five in the morning to head down to Washington to go climb Rainier. Rainier's about 14,400 feet. It's a pretty big thing. It's about a four day thing. And I'm pacing up and down my apartment. I just, I can't get myself to pack my stuff. And I'm thinking, should I go, should I not go? I'm tired, I'm at like 70%. I really wanna go because I've been dreaming about this for like three years to go climb this mountain. It's a stepping stone towards Everest. And I wanna make it happen. And at that time, my mom, my mom randomly called me. My mom. And she didn't even have to tell me anything. As soon as I explained what was going on to her, I knew I couldn't go. And I was, for a moment, upset with that. But I was also at peace with that, because I had the confidence that that was the right decision. And I said, ah, maybe, maybe another time this summer, hopefully I'll get another opportunity. Maybe not, but I gotta, I gotta listen to that inner voice. And having the confidence, the inner confidence to do that, knowing that that voice knows what's best for me. And about a month later, another opportunity comes up to climb it. We climb the mountain, we summit, great time. And I was rewarded for listening to that inner voice. I think any time we listen to that inner voice, somehow the universe rewards us. 